Hello friends, my name's Hannah and welcome back to another video. Today I'm doing a Disney haul for you guys. But first of all, let's see what I'm drinking. I'm afraid I don't have it in a mug, so not really living up to my channel name. But I do have a strawberry, blueberry and banana milkshake. It's so good. I haven't placed an order on Shop Disney UK since I think last December when I bought the final Stitch Crashes Disney pin. And I do want to do a video of all of those and sort of my experience with it because it was... Disney monthly collections have been a bit hit and miss, I feel. Um, I don't know if I'll collect another one, but that's not the point in this video. The point of this video is to talk about what I did buy. So I finally placed an order. I wasn't expecting to, but I was looking for something that I wanted to get my boyfriend for Christmas. And I found it on Shop Disney. And he does actually know because I had to ask him which one of two items he preferred. Um, and then what size he was. So I'll be showing that in this video, but he does already know what he's getting. But I also found some other bits which were in the outlet and on sale. And then I placed another order. So this is actually two orders in one. I placed another order because there wasn't something else I wanted and I was gonna wait till I got paid but then they had free shipping so I was like you know what I'm just gonna get it now <laughs> um, so let's have a look through this order so this is my boyfriend's Christmas present it's a bit greener than I expected I thought it was gonna be more like a dark blue than a green but I still think it looks really good it's this nightmare before Christmas jumper let me it does definitely look blue on the website but it's definitely more uh, sort of turquoisey emerald green in person so here it is it's a hoodie let me flip the hood over so it's a hooded jumper and it's pretty simple it's just got this really nice jack face on it um that's actually quite big i said he'd, he wanted a large i think um that's pretty big but he does like things a little bit oversized so hopefully that'll be really nice for him for christmas i really like it it's pretty soft on the inside i have to say disney jumpers are fantastic i've bought disney jumpers before and they've lasted me years and years and they're super comfy so definitely recommend but the jack jumper is the first item that i bought it cost i think 45 pounds um which is more than i would pay for a jumper especially because that was already 20 uh, 20 or 25 percent off i think it was originally 60 or 65 something like that so there was already quite a bit of money off of this jumper. Um, so uh, yeah, I just think Disney are pricing things a little bit too high at the moment. But again, that's another video. But that's the first item. I do really, really like it. It's it's a nice colour actually. There is a loose thread, but that's already come off. Put that in the bin. Um, but hopefully he'll like that for Christmas. So when I do, I'm hoping to do Vlogmas this year and to do a what I got people for Christmas. So that'll be in that video a little bit more. Um, and obviously it's not for me, so I'm not going to try it on. But that's the first item that I bought. So let's have a look at pins then. I bought three pins. So I bought one in a sale and then I bought two um, which were new. Um, one's a Christmas one and one I just absolutely loved. It's a limited edition. Let's let that noisy motorbike go past. So the first pin I got, I can't remember how much this is, and I think I've thrown away the receipt that came with this, um, but I think it was about three or five pounds, is this goofy Disney 31. So I'll show it a bit closer. So that's the first pin that I got. When I went to Disneyland in June, they didn't have any 30 pins that I could find. Um, and so I was I, I really wanted a Disney 30 pin because obviously I'd been there for the 30th anniversary I think I would have preferred one with Mickey and Minnie but they had Goofy maybe Donald and Chip and Dale I think and Goofy was my preferred one to get there so I'm just really glad that I've got it to add to my pin board I don't know which one to talk about next we'll go for the one that's already out of the packet which is this Aristocats limited edition pin now I'll open it up and then show it in a bit more detail it opens okay so here it is in a little bit more detail. We've got the three kittens um, and this pin, like I said, opens up um, and it's on hinges. It's pretty stiff, which is quite good because it means it's not going to just flop open. It's limited edition and it was a little bit more expensive. I can't, again, I can't quite remember how much, um, but I love that the kittens, so they've all got different colored bows at the top um and they've all got sort of like a motif at the bottom so we've got the paintbrush the musical notes and a macaron for marie i feel like marie probably could have had a different one um 
but I just think it's so cute. I do collect Aristocats pins. Is it going to focus on me? Hello. I do collect Aristocats pins, so this is really good. There were so many Aristocats pins um, on that I could have got, but I just decided to choose one, and this was 100% my favourite. I love that it folds out. I love that it depicts all three kittens, because quite often we just see Marie merchandise and not the other kittens, which I feel like is a bit you know like they're, they're still really cute and uh, they're not as popular as marie but um they should still get the recognition that they deserve and this pin definitely does that so super cute and the third pin that i got is the only christmas pin that i bought this year and i think it might be the only one that i do buy because it's just so cute i've actually just bent the backing card which is annoying trying to straighten it out but there we go so here is the christmas pin that i bought so it's a mickey wreath um, Mickey Mouse ear wreath and it's got loads of different sort of Christmas embellishments on it so we've got a bow down here a bauble we've got a little bird some flowers I just think it's really cute it's not exactly subtle Disney I feel like it's quite obviously Disney but I feel like it's quite sort of chic as well it's not too garish um I just really really liked it and I did think the baubles in the middle of the years moved and they don't but I actually sort of prefer that because it's not as delicate um so you could definitely like wear it rather than just sort of pinning it on for display i'll probably only keep it for display probably i don't really wear pins um i just enjoy collecting them <laughs> but i do need to get a new pin board because mine has been destroyed coffee break next up is something that i thought i would never buy I've been interested, but the price has always put me off because they're now £13, but I bought each of these for £3.88. It's an oddly specific price. And they are Nuimos. So, like I said, these were on offer. They've been on offer before, but I've never bought them because you have to pay for shipping, and they're £3.88 in the sale, and shipping £3.95, and I was like, well, it doesn't really... I'm not doing one to pay more for shipping, particularly. Um but i decided to buy them because i was buying the jumper and the pins so i was already sort of over that free shipping or nearly over that free shipping so i decided to buy them so i've got two new emos i've got minnie mouse and mickey mouse whose ear is a little bit bent there were definitely more that i could have got but i just thought i would go for two i don't want to start a collection particularly i'm just trying to bend his ear back I don't particularly want to start a collection, but I do like having both of these. <laughs> I think they are super cute. So let's have a look at Mickey first. So here is Mickey Mouse. Their arms are poseable and they've got sort of like metal in them. Same with their legs. So he's just sort of his nose is and head is sort of turned up a little bit <laughs> and bend him down. But he looks really cute. I love his little smile. He's got his little trousers on and some little shoes and these aren't removable. So he sort of comes as is. Um, originally like i said they were 12.95 which i just think is quite a lot i don't know i don't know if it is a lot i feel like i'd be more comfortable paying like eight pounds which is what they were when they first came out and i didn't buy them at the time and then they put the price up and i just feel like they're continuing to put the price up but if they put the price lower people are more likely to buy more so anyway that's my opinion but they were originally 12.95 and I am pretty happy with them. So that was Mickey. This is Minnie, obviously. So Minnie has this bow, which is not detachable. That is sewed on, so that cannot be taken off. But her dress can. So all new emos have a Velcro back. So her dress can be taken off. And she's got this sort of, I'm not going to show you all of it, but this night wear underneath. Let's pop your dress back on, love. Just like Mickey, she is poseable. Um, and has little yellow shoes so those are the mickey and mini noemos i don't know if i'll buy any outfits i think i'd like to buy one for mickey because he i don't know i feel like he needs an outfit um mini i really like her dress i might buy another one um especially if the outfits are in the sale they weren't any outfits in the sale um or any that i liked anyway so i didn't get any um but i also think i might quite like to make some outfits i think that might be quite cool um to maybe personalize them as well but like i said i'm not going to get any more this is a note for future me i'm not going to get any more although they are adorable and i kind of love them already although mickey's head i'm not sure is on properly there's something not quite right about his head now i've got two more things to show you so this was the first order that i did the new emos pins and that jumper the second order is what i've got here now i only ordered one thing but something that came free was this hocus pocus key now i haven't opened it yet i thought i'd save it for this video so let's open it now i used to collect disney keys and don't i stopped why are there so many trucks 
I used to collect Disney keys and I stopped because it just was starting to get ridiculous. They were releasing like one a month and they were really expensive because you had to pay like 30 pounds to get the free key and i was just buying things that like i didn't really want and i just felt like it was a big waste of money and keys were just getting ridiculous they were being released so often and then the mystery key started so you didn't even know if you're gonna get what you wanted but they were expensive because to buy a mystery key set you know it just got a little bit mental for me so i did stop collecting keys i've got one um from my collection the rest i sold or donated but i do have this one which i don't know if i'll keep or not Oh, it's actually quite cool though. So you've got one with Binks on, one with, uh, one for each of the sisters, I think. One of them flying and then this one. So this is the key that I got. I have to put my hand behind doing that classic YouTuber thing. Otherwise it won't focus. This is the key that I got. It's this red key which <laughs> reminds me a bit of Tigger and you can see the three sisters on the sort of main part of the key and then you've got the Disney castle so if you turn it up that way it's a Disney castle and it says forever bewitching so it's quite a nice key actually um on the handle it's got <laughs> a vacuum cleaner that Mary flies on and all the brooms it's it's pretty nice it's a bit more solid than the keys used to be they used to be really bendy and you used to literally just be able to bend them so they seem to have changed their sort of formula i guess um it's pretty nice actually i don't think i would have bought it because like i said i don't buy keys anymore but for a free sort of add-on which i didn't like buy something specifically to get this key it just happened to be free at the time um i do quite like it so came in the hocus pocus box i'll pop it back in there for now i don't know what i'll do with it i might keep it pop it on display for halloween i might not we shall see but the main thing for that order was this and i'm so excited oh my gosh okay let me open it i've waited I, this arrived like uh, two days ago and i've been so busy i literally haven't even had time to open it for myself um so i'm so excited so this jumper i saw on lizzie and disney's either her channel or her instagram and then i saw a few more people posting about it and i was like i need this jumper okay let's see it is uh, a euro disney jumper so if you didn't know um disneyland paris used to be called euro disney um and when it first opened it was called euro disney and it opened on the 12th of april 1992 so obviously this is the 30th anniversary it's got a mickey on it and it had this sort of like retro 90s vibe i just love it it's a sweatshirt so there's no hood um for it i'm gonna i'm gonna do the potter collector thing and change into it so let's go Ta -da! so here is the euro disney jumper it is actually a little tight but i do think it will loosen up with a wash um because i feel like it's tight because it's got that new fabric feel to it so here is the euro disney jumper i really really love it they're super soft on the inside and this cost i believe it was 30 on the back it says 39.90 euros so i think it was around that price maybe like 40 pounds um in pounds obviously pounds um but i really really love it like i said it's a little bit tight but hopefully it will loosen up over time i can already feel it starting to loosen as i'm starting to stretch so that was my shop disney haul like i said i haven't done a video i haven't done a video i haven't done a haul for a very long time from there not placed an order at all I just had a lot of difficulties with Hermes and my packages arriving destroyed and things like that. But our every driver, Ruth down here, I actually know her name, that's how many packages we get. Um, she's really lovely and looks after everything um, since she sort of changed into our area. So I feel a bit more confident about shopping for them. And obviously the price point is again another issue but i do want to talk about that in another video but i'm super happy with everything that i bought the new emos and obviously a couple of the pins were in the sale the jumper that i bought for my partner was in the sale and this i knew as soon as i saw it that i wanted it so thank you so much for watching this video let me know what you think about this haul which item would you have bought for yourself are there any that you would have passed up on and have you made any shop disney orders anytime recently because again i'm quite curious about that but I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Thanks again so much for watching and I'll see you soon for a new video. Bye!